Hello everybody and welcome back for a new video. Today we're going to talk about something we really haven't been talking very much about in this uh, channel here. And that's because most of my cannons already have this feature or whatever you will call it. And that is shooting the 20 chunk limit. Uh, as you know, probably most faction servers have a 20 chunk limit that allows you to build walls in, and after that, then you, you're out of space to make walls. So right after the 20 chunks, that is where the base comes out. And here I marked up, let me see here, here we go. Here I marked up 1, 2, 3, and so on, 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 and so on. Let's go to the end here, that was right here. That is uh, 20 chunks, or 320 blocks. Um, as you see here, it goes down. So this is 20 chunks. Oh, uh, well, I think the mining plot is like 25 chunks or something like that, because I'm almost here at the end. Um, oh, well, but um, so today we're going to talk a little bit about uh, changing ticks and uh, increasing power on cannons and so on and so on and so on. Um, but the hard part is literally laying in, uh, counting how much power you need. Not a lot of people know that and you used way too much TNT or, or something like that. So I'm gonna quickly put something up on the screen now and we will be able to, uh, to, uh, to calculate how much TNT we're gonna need for the power. Alright, so right here we have a normal calculator you can find on your PC. Um, so now we need to uh, figure out how many chunks do we want to shoot. And in this case, we want to shoot uh, the full limit of uh, all the walls, and that is 20 chunks. So you write 10 to write 20 right there. So you need to uh, times that with how many blocks are inside a chunk. That is 16, uh, 16 chunks. And after you've done that, then you need to divide that. Um, and this is why, like, it kind of get a little bit tricky. People say 3.5, other people say uh, uh, just 3. Um, but because I want to do, uh, oh, how can I say this, like, um, like 3.5 is working, um, but again, it's not really matching up with a lot of stuff, so I kind of want to use 2.95, that should give you 108, um, and uh, 108 TNT is what you need in your power to be able to shoot 20 chunks in, uh, in my calculation. You can use 3.5, that's fine with me. That is something like a 91, I'm pretty sure, or 90s, yeah, something like that. Uh, so right here we have a little bit more TNT than you, 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 you have when you're shooting 20 chunks because the base is kind of long as well. It might be 3 chunks, might be 2 chunks, whatever. So that's kind of nice to have 108 TNT. Now, what you have to do is you have to divide that by 2 because that is how much uh, each side. So let's go, let's go back here on Minecraft so I can, uh, so I can show you this. All right, so now that we've got that cal calculated, that is uh, 54, or wait, 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 45, um, 54, uh, 54 TNT, then we need to uh, figure out how much I already have. Holy shit, that was a lot of speed. Uh, right there on this side, I should have enough. Yeah, 54. And it's the exact same on the other side as well. Um, gosh dang it. There you go. Exact same. Uh, so now that we got that, then uh, let me just put up a wall and shit um, with slabs and then we're good to go. Alright, and here we have the slab and we have a wall. And now we're ready to shoot. To, to shoot 20 chunks. Or are we? But uh, let's just check that out. Here we go, let's uh, make sure I have this pasted in, I'm pretty sure I have, yes I do. And then let's shoot it up. And let's see what the wall says about that. Okay, that was a disaster. Um, I'm pretty sure, this right here is the hammer. Um, I think. <laughs> uh, so that was a disaster. So what happened right there, like, we saw the, if you, if you t took a notice, we saw the, um, um, we saw the sand, and we saw uh, the scatter. So now that we know that the, it's not the sand, it's not the scatter, um, the slap boss, it might be the slap boss, or it might not be the slap boss, uh, but it is definitely the hammer, because as you see, there was no hammer, and it exploded way too early. So what do we do about that? Now that we have this exploded way too early, let's go ahead and change some of that tick. Right now we are on one tick, so let's change that to a full repeater here, uh, like that. There we go, and I guess let's let's try again. Let's 
put that in there and fire this one up. And let's see what's going on now then. All right, so now the hammer definitely made it. Uh, that right there have to be something, I don't even know. Uh, but it looked like uh, the sand made it as well. All right, so we might not have enough uh, hammer down on this one. Uh, because you saw like some of the TNT got, f uh, got flying back in our face. Uh, so let's just try to add one more tick. And one repeater is one tick. So let's add that. There we go. And now let's paste this in again. And there we go. Got a little bit of lag back here, so let's see how this goes. All right, there we go. There was our hole. Now we need to make sure that uh, it that it didn't clip. So now I'm under it. Let me put my speed up here again. Um, and here we go. And we did clip. Oh, wait, I'm lacking a little bit here. We did clip by one block. I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah. Let me see here. Oh, wait, 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 that's wrong, that's wrong. We have to go in here again. There. And go straight. As you see, we clipped by one block. So let me fix up this uh, wall here and I'll be right back. Alright, now the wall is made. Let's go ahead and figure out why it clipped. Let's go to the wall here. Uh, it looked like... It's still clipped. Let me see here. 102, yeah, it's still clipped. And... Uh, that is because, well, let me fix up the wall here at least a little bit further down. We don't really need to get rid of this, this sand stack here. And that is because we did not calculate um, the power use or the distance between the power uh, and stuff like that. But right here we have like a, a decent amount of uh, power, but it's not nearly enough for the hammer and everything to go straight in a straight line without dipping a little bit. So um, what we need to do is that we need to, oops, let me go up here, we need to add one row more, like we we are really close to be shooting 20 chunks, so let's just add one more row here, and that is going to support uh, it in a straight line here. There we go. Uh, let's build it up like that, so it looks all fancy, you know. Uh, there we go, and glass, yeah. All right, and again, I, I use this method here, so it's easier to schematic in for you guys. So let's add that to it here. There we go. Oh, that was one long. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Of course, we're going to need this one here as well. And let's do the same over here. So we add one single row of more power. And uh, it works like that. Um, that it will give more force to whatever we're shooting out. And this one here is a glitch. Look, look, I'm glitching inside it, and now I don't want to paste it in. It's back. It's magic. I don't know what that is, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, all right, so now that we got that, we added one more, a little bit more power here, and that will um, smoothen out with the ticks we have right here. So, um, how can I say this? Um, so now the TNT is going to have uh, more speed, all right? Um, and that means that the TNT will not the TNT, TNT will explode later, but also because like we have more TNT moving, and we have more TNT to pressure out all of that other shit. So that means that now we should see a difference. So let's go ahead and try that. Um, oh God, I'm I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make. I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. All right, there we go. All right, let's see here. Now that I have this amazing speed here, it might be a little bit difficult, so let me do this. All right, 102. Let's see if this made us. No, it still didn't made us. And that's because we didn't fill them up. Um, <laughs> that's just me again. Uh, let's try one more time. This time it is filled up. Let's get rid of those blocks right there. Let's see if we can build this a little bit further down. Here we go. There we go, and uh, get rid of this as well, I guess. Just so you guys know what works 100%. Put a slap. There we go. All right, now let's try one more time. And this time, it should work because we have calculated how much power we need, and we have the right amount of ticks uh, because we saw that at the wall. Um, and now we should be able to to shoot and not clip. 
There we go. Let's go under here. Uh, did I make it? Yeah, I did. All right, 103. That means that we are not going to clip. Let me just go through here. Yeah, that's perfect. Now let's see if you're clipping. And nope, we are not clipping. And uh, that is because we calculated how much power we need and added a little bit more because we have... Um, whoop, let me go up here. Because we have to... Like you see the power... Uh, the, the power is right here. The hammer down is all the way over here, as well as the slap boss, that the sand is a little bit closer, so of course the sand will make it, the slap boss will make it, the hammer and scatter won't. Um, of course we don't have that much TNT in the scatter and stuff like that, and there's some, uh, quite a lot of delay, so it will almost hit the wall all the time. But the hammer uh, is a little bit different, because... Now it fucked up again. The hammer is a little bit different because it, it has a low ticks, um, so if it doesn't reach the wall in time, it's just going to explode in the air right next to the wall or whatever. Um, but that is because of the power here, we had that little issue here, so let me go, yeah, let me use this down here, why not. So, when we have to flint and steel on TNT, um, you'll see that there is a big difference between how, how far away you have your, um, your TNT from each other. Um, but let's go ahead and do that right here. So we have some kind of way to show you guys uh, how to do this, or why it does this. Uh, there we go. And of course this one over here is not even going to hit the other one, but I'm going to make it anyways. Alright, so now that we've done this, uh, let's go ahead and remove these so we'll be able to see exactly why it hits. And then we can use bedrock, I guess, yeah. Uh, let's take the flint that's still out again here. There we go. All right, so now that we got this, let me just put my speed to one. Uh, and now let's go ahead and try this. So I'm gonna ignite this one first and then ignite this one here. That allows it to move and I'll be able to see it without exploding too fast. And it's kind of on that block. Uh, but let's see here. There we go. That was right, and uh, that was more on that block, I guess. A little bit more to that side here, I think. There we go, that landed right there. There we go. See, that moved it a little bit more, that was more to that side. But as you see here, there's a big difference between where you have your TNT, because as you see right now, the further away you go, the less force it's getting moved out with. So that means that whenever you have a cannon, um, the power, uh, or the calculation for the power is almost right. Uh, you have to calculate how much TD you need to, to do it if you're right next to it. But of course you're going to need a little bit more because the hammer down is not right next to the power. And that means a lot of things because this one is not even getting moved. Alright, and the rest here is of course not getting moved. So. Um, the power gives you out, gives out a lot of information. Uh, you have to take take in and maybe like realize that uh, power is not everything, but again, is it is still a big thing in in cannoning uh, because it decides how fast your TNT and sand goes, and and how fast that goes kind of decides how your ticks are going to be and stuff like that. Because as you see here, it doesn't really get moved that far. Uh, of course, it looks like it's getting moved far because the TNT, um, the main TNT is still here. Uh, but this is the f if we drop those, that means that if we go the other way around, uh, that means that this one will go here, and this one will go here. Yeah, this one will go here, here, uh, here, here. Yeah. So that will have gone like this. If you see it from that aspect, uh, that means that this. The, if they're right next to each other, it gets pushed this far, and the further away we get from um, the TNT, then you see it kind of narrows in, and like only one block moved right here, which is absolutely nothing. And uh, that is that is the reason why it does like it does. I'm pretty sure that's how I can explain it the best for you guys. Um, but uh, it does get uh, pushed that far, uh, with that much strange if it's here. Uh, but of course the sand, which is right next to the power, get um, get pushed out uh, a lot faster. Um, but I think that's just really about it. I don't really have much else to tell you guys that maybe if you um, if you see that um, 
you see that it, it still doesn't work and, and like one tick more doesn't help or one tick less doesn't help then try to add a little bit more uh, uh, power because that can um, decide uh, a little bit because it's not oh how do i explain this so you guys understand it um it works as a tick because the speed the speed of the the speed of the tnt uh, when it get moved like of course there is takes some time before the tnt hits the wall if you add more power that is less ticks um, and that is ticks you you can't even count on a repeater because it's like so small uh, but that is what you need to make it work uh, and I, it's hard to explain because, yeah, it's just hard to explain, I guess. Like, I'm really trying to, to try to explain it so you guys understand it uh, without uh, telling you something that's a lie or telling you something that's incorrect. But that's kind of hard because you kind of need uh, some information that you need to think about uh, that is part right, part wrong but will still help you a lot when, when trying to shoot 20 chunks. And um, that is basically what I did. You don't need to change any ticks besides the hammer down and add power. And of course, the calculation I did was right. Um, 2.95, that was right. Uh, besides one row of, um, of uh, dispensers here that um, helped me do or helped me build up the right ticks for the hammer down as well as the, the other things. Um, I just want to say before I end up this here, that if your scatter goes up, like flies up in the air along with the, the red sand, try to add one tick to the repeater uh, on the hammer down. And if that doesn't help, again, try to add a little bit more power, uh, but just watch out with how much power you add. Uh, right now, this one should be 12 long, uh, 10 long, okay. No, no, sorry, 12, 10, um, 10 high. Um, that's because it's not five, it's six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's six, that's why. Uh, but um, I think that's just about it, guys. Thank you guys for watching this uh, video here. I really hope that this helped you out. And I'm sorry if uh, if I gave you some wrong information. I just try to explain it as, as well as I can. I really hope that this, this helped you guys to, to rate the bigger faction with 20 chunk buffer. But again, thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like, comment down below for any issues or whatsoever. If I said something wrong, then... Uh, then roast me in the in the comment. But I think that's just about it, guys. Remember to subscribe to my channel. My name is Sector, and I'm out.